Welcome, welcome everyone to Chats with TV episode 180. Today is October 29th, 2015. It's a whole lot of people's birthdays today. Hello, David. I wonder if it's your birthday today. This is the darkest episode of Chess with TV. You notice around me that I'm actually in the nighttime. That's because at the end of this week is daylight savings for me. I'm an American. In America, we do this unless you're in Arizona, in which case we don't because we love rules. Not that we follow them, but the, yeah, there's a lot of laws in America. Anyway, that went weird quickly. I mean, there's not as many laws as there are in Singapore, right? Now we need to find out. Are there more laws in America or Singapore? I don't care. I'm trying to tell you that the time zone is changing from PST to DST, or is it EST to EDT? I don't even know. It's DT. It's definitely DT, which is not like DDT, because DDT will kill you, and this is merely daylight savings time. So that means that we're changing by an hour. It's now going to be at 4 p.m. GMT, which is an hour later. So if you come back next week, which you should, because next week we're having a simultaneous exhibition of every variant. Week from today on, hold on, hold on. Week from today on Thursday, November 5th. We're going to have a simul where I play many people at the same time. You can join in and be one of my opponents. You can be only one of my opponents, however, and choose the variant. So if you absolutely love horror chess because you like headaches, you can play me at horror chess while I play other people at regular non-headache versions of chess, such as anti-chess, not headache. Anyway, today we're doing something interesting as well. It's called Arms Reach Chess, and it's been like a year since we've done it, literally. It's something I made up with my own brain, and here's the rules. It's chess, except the rooks and queen can only reach an arm's length, hence the name. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to play with a friend here, and I'm going to play standard, because this website doesn't support arms reach. It probably never will, because I invented it. And I'm going to choose this time control. Blip, 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 there's my uh, link. And I'm going to put this in the chat, because you know who's the fastest chatter in the net? Is this guy right here, Super Bob? He says, warning. So he's just clicked in. He's also known as Round Roundup. <laughs> Roundup. He's a weed killer. And he is ready to play. So here's the rules. No rules. Q and R and Bishop can only move two spaces max. So that means this bishop can move here, but not here, which is why it's in a tiny blue circle. You cannot move there or um, to Z4. That's also illegal. Same with this queen. It can move here, but not here. It's too far. The rooks can move this far, but not this far. Whoa, colors are getting weird. Okay, he says. So the interesting thing about this variant, besides the fact that it's unique is that the queen is not so powerful having such a limited range. The rooks are quite limited. The bishops quite, quite limited. So it actually means that the bishops, rooks, and queens are less powerful. Did you catch that? Let me say it again. The bishops, rook, okay, you know what I mean. So that means you actually don't want to value them quite so much. Oh, I'm a cheater. <laughs> Let me propose a take back here. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, my face is a cheater today. That should explain it nicely. Let's play here. <laughs> now, I actually just want to get here so I can trade it for that knight, because knights not being underpowered must now be more powerful. So I'll play here. Okay, so this is dumb, investing two moves on one piece. You should not do this in a chess game, and you should not do this in an arms reach chess. The stop over here costing an entire move was not worth it, because moves are important at the beginning of the game. You want to get your army out there doing things, not doing nothing. So, ah, oh, nice move. But what I hope happens is he takes his bishop, because bishops are no longer worth three points. You know that old thing that says a pawn is worth one point? I believe it. Pawns really are worth one point, but that's not all there is to it. Bishops and knights are worth three. No longer true, with bishops only being able to move this far. For those of you just tuning in, that's true. Not a very good location for my bishop. Bishops are not worth three points anymore. They're worth who knows how much. Nobody even knows. So I'm going to get this bishop out. I'm not even going to castle because I want to get this bishop out as quickly as I can. He's going to trade his knight for my knight, uh, which is okay with me. And then in two short moves, I'll cheat with my bishop and take this knight. I'm excited to trade my bishop for a knight because bishops are weak. The other thing is my bishop is trapped. That's too bad. Kind of bad. Um, but wait. Think about this. Yeah, nice move. 
think about this. I traded it for a pawn. Okay, that's, I don't want to think about that. That's depressing. Let's go get this guy. Um, so queens and rooks are also weaker. Queen can only move this far, not here. Notice how tiny and orange that is. That's because it can't move that far. And rooks also are quite weak. In fact, this pawn is free, I just noticed. Look at that. Because the rook can only move this far. So everything is kind of toned down, which makes for a boring game. I mean, the pieces aren't very powerful. The reason chess is so exciting, guys, is because the queens can go pew, pew, all the way across the board in one move. You notice how dull and unshiny this is? It's because it's arms reached chess. The rook can do nothing. The queen can do no nothing. That's the way it's pronounced. Nothing. Um, and that's what makes chess exciting is what's not happening right now. Should I castle? If I play here, he will play over, and I don't think I'll have anything from that. So let's castle queen side. An interesting thing about being exposed like this is that it's no problem because <laughs> anything on the open file is a bit short-sighted. It needs one, two, three moves just to attack you, which is not very much non-moves. It's very many moves is what I'm trying to say. It's a lot of moves. Okay, that's not check. So I should not be forced to move out of check. You're a cheater. Unfortunately, because this game mode is not supported, I need to get out of check. I wish that I didn't, because I don't. Really, technically speaking, I don't. Don't want to trade with your lame bishops, because they can only move this far. Attacks are very weak, I'm thinking, in this game. But knights, knights are like nothing else. Because they aren't underpowered. He actually could have taken that. <laughs> My rook couldn't move this far, so he could have just taken it. Which, I could take this, so that was fun. Pawns and knights, that's where it's at, because they're not downgraded like everything. Should I add him time? No, I should run him out of time. Go get him. He proposes a take back. Okay, hope you run out of time while you accept this take back. Mm. Your bishop is weak. It can only go this far. Uh, that's not very good. Let's get some time back here. Oh no, your rook arrived. Yeah, his queen is on the way too. So scary. Oh no, in just a few moves, you'll check me. <laughs> I got the same problem though. I've got the same problem. So he's going to play this, which is check, which totally ruins the game because I have to get out of check, technically speaking, even though in reality I want to blow him away over here. Um, why isn't he taking on a2? Hello, Pablo. You aren't paying attention. No, you just tuned in a little bit late. I'll explain. It's a special chess variant where nothing can do anything. It's pretty fun. But unfortunately, it does. It enforces check. So maybe if we played anti-chess, that doesn't enforce check. Well, that would not really work. At all. Ooh. Bishop takes knight. Bishop takes knight. Very strong. Bishop takes knight. What are you doing? Just take my knight. <laughs> that was weird and pleasant for me. Uh, I have five seconds. Let's push this. My rook is on the way. Probably should have moved here. I'm left with two super nerfed rooks. Oh, I totally escaped that one. Ah. 
You might think this is for sale, but it's not for sale because of my genius. Um, and he's not going to be able to do anything here either. <laughs> See, that's his illegal move. That's that's what's going on. Hmm. I have to get out of checks. Stupid rule. We need to disable checks. Is there a variant that will disable checks? Let me sink. Like a piece of... What, what sinks? What sinks? I think I win this. I'm ahead of pawn. That's what's important because rooks and bishops are probably about the same. They can each move. Oh, I'm not ahead of pawn. Never mind. There's something else important here. Um... It's going to take me a few moves, but I'm going to arrive here like this. <laughs> I'm trying to draw it, okay? I'm going to arrive there in three moves. So this is arms reach chess, where your pieces can only move at most two squares, which is how far their arms can reach, by the way. That's why it's named that. And after that, they can't move any further. So it's going to take him a long time to get back here. And I think that's going to be his doom. <laughs> the bishop can only move this far. Bam. This is uh, this is interesting. This is definitely interesting. <laughs> uh, it's also problematic. So one interesting factor is he's going to promote. So a queen is probably good. Queen against rook, he'll probably win. <laughs> but the queen can't reach very far. But I think he'll checkmate me. See, now he's cheating again. I have to move out of check even though I technically don't. No! I didn't even see that thing sneak up on me. That's bad. This calls for a nose picking. That's really bad. And now I have to move out of check. So this variant is actually unplayable here because I'm forced to move out of check. Let's take a look at what um, other variants we can enable that will not enforce check. Get out of the way. I want to join. It won't let me create a new game. It's very rude. Yeah, I'm forced to move out of check. It's harsh. He proposes a take back. Do you think I'm giving you a take back? I'm trying to play a game, but it says I can join or resign. No, I want to play a game. He cheated. Oh, then I'll resign. And it was a rated game. Lol, rated. Read or saddened. That was, um, that was, whoa. That was pathetic because I didn't want to be having to get out of check, having to do that. That was bad. So this variant is very interesting. For those who are just tuning in wondering, here's the rules. Queen and rook and bishop can only move two spaces max. So it really nerfs the rook being able to only go this far. It really nerfs the queen being only boxed into this shape of space here. And it also nerfs the bishop seriously. And so that was interesting. But being forced to move out of check when there's a rook here checking me, that was not cool because it's not really part of the rules. So I wonder if there's a... Okay, I'll resign the game. Just let me play something. I wonder if there's a variant that will not enforce check. Check is forced, check is forced, check is forced, check is not forced, but captures are forced. That's not good. Atomic check is not enforced in atomic. Yes, it is. That's a problem. And whore chest check is enforced. So we need a variant that's like cheating mode. Um, and I can't think of a way to do that. There's also a... What is it? What is over here? There's on this website, there's some things. There's an analysis board here where you can, of course, make your legal moves like queen of six. What? You can't do that? What? What? Um, board editor. In the board editor, you can cheat. You can buy like queen of six, okay? So we could play on the board editor. This could work. The only problem is no one can show up here. So let's just play again with it and just live with it. Let's do this. Let's, oh, let's not play with everybody. Let's play with um, a friend. 
Would anyone else like to try some arms reach chess? This one will be better than the last one. I'm not sure why, but I can make random claims too. Bam! Flying queen is here. The rules. No piece may move further than one space in up. Uh, one, I got the number wrong. Two spaces. Let's see how it goes. I just deleted my chat chat box here, so just a moment. Can't see what anyone's saying. Oh look, they're saying flicker flicker. Something's going wrong. Oh, I, I minimized it behind here. Oh. Can you make it casual? Har. Okay. Okay, casual. I'll go make it casual. I think that's a reasonable request, don't you? Since I just lost a bunch of, there it is, rating points to my enemy, Rondo. Okay, there it is in the chat again. Flying Queen is so quick. He says just play some bullet, but I'll just play some bullet through his head. Oh, Arch is here. The rules. Flying Queen just got left out in the cold. Flying Queen, I will play you soon. In fact, you're opening a new tab. So, you're next. Smiley face. Okay, Arch, are you ready? The rules. Um, no piece may move further. Definitely putting in this in my clipboard after this. Then, two spaces in one move. Control A, Control C, Control Enter. Control Enter, I'm just kidding about that one. Let's bring these knights out, they're so powerful. So I wonder if it's useful to play this. Because it's just a given that bishops will take two moves to get out. The alternative is a little bit less in the way of everything. Even in chess, must be economic, okay. So how can he move the knight? <laughs> That's two spaces, dude. That's two spaces, one, two. See that, two. It's definitely two spaces. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> um, don't pin my knight or attack it in any fashion. I don't want you to trade your lame bishop for my knight. Do you guys see what was in the news today? Did you guys see what was in the news? Do you know what just happened? Hmm. Neither do I, actually. That brings me to an important point. There is no reason to read the news. I learned this never. In other words, I still don't know it. But it's true. There is no reason to read the news. It's just the bad news. No one ever writes the good news. So what's the point? What is the point? I mean, you can read about so-and-so got murdered again on your block. Is that going to make you feel better? Is that going to improve your life? No. Or you could read the world news. So-and-so's army got obliterated. That's basically the news. They don't even have armies anymore. They just have robots. They call them drones because it sounds more reasonable. Knights and pawns can move freely. You may castle long, even though the rook moves here. Because technically speaking, you're only moving the king two squares. The rook is doing its own thing. So that's totally different. This is going to be a game-winning move right here, because I'm going to capture a knight with a bishop. I do read the news sometimes, actually. Oh, you got me. I accept your take back, because you're a cheater. That was super far. No wonder I was shocked and amazed by that move. Ach, acht. That's German. Gotcha. Acht. You know what that means? It means eight which is a useful name. Why did you name yourself eight? Um, ein, eine, eine, zwei, I, I don't, can't spell it. I can't spell zwei. Zwei, vier, fünf, sechs, sieben, acht, acht, there it is, it's eight, sieben. Eight in German. Acht, oh yes, I'm so good. I actually said something true on Chesma's TV. I amazed myself. Let's move up here so I'm actually defending this pawn because, you know, I wasn't and he had three attackers and I had two defenders because the queen doesn't count. Yeah, I'm lucky I showed up in time. Let's close this up. So I have a knight versus bishop advantage. That seems like a huge advantage. Zvi, Zvi. Thank you, Abel, Abel. 
It's spelled Z-W-E-I. Although I'm sure it's like Z V E I because it's German. Should I take that? Yeah, I won't. Because the queen can only move this far. That's not scary at all. And our rooks are equally lame here. <laughs> He's coming for me! Two more moves and he will arrive. Vuzahibi. That's that's French and it means you arrive. So useful to know these languages. He's coming. I'm going to take this. So that it doesn't attack here. So every sink is in good order, working order here. Have you ever woken up in France and you're like, wow, I've never been in France before. Good thing I know how to say vous arrivez, which means you arrived. Now I can say that. You know what? I haven't ever done that either. Maybe I didn't need to bother memorizing that phrase. Well, it still came in handy in this show, in this chess show, right? That's something. My rook is on the way. A few more moves, and it will arrive. This is a weird chess game. Uh, is something free here? No? Let's bring the other rook in by way of pawns. Hmm. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did not expect. Okay, I need to play a little more quickly. I guess d3 was better. Because it defends d5, so that when I play e5, I got a defender right there. I want to play e5, I definitely do. And it's going to take me a long time to get anything guarding it, because the rooks are so slow in this chess variant. Here we go. He's going to be advancing his pawn majority, too. So this is going to be interesting. That one's going to hang if he does. <laughs> hang if he does. Um, push. And then walk up in here for sure. I could also move here and attack this pawn. The piece is moving only a little ways. It's, it's still an even game because we have an equal quantity of pieces. But I really find this to be interesting. The checks ruin it though. Because of the long distance checks, you're forced to get out of check. Like if he moves over this way, then I want to place my rook on this spot. This is like super owning. But it's cheating also. It'll force him to move when he doesn't have to. So I guess we'll just say this is the variant where the where arms reach check is super power. I'm going to play this move. I mean, it is strong. No, it's check. No, this was going to be so good. And then he's cheating. Well, I guess it's a variant where it's not cheating, you know. What can you do? But in real arms reach, that would not be checked because the queen can only reach this far. It's going to be pretty good. I'm going to get that piece back. Meet on f7, face palm. Did I miss a mate on f7? Oh, <laughs> pretty obvious one too. What about that move? What about bam? Okay, I'm out of time. Seriously out of time. I have one second. But what will he do? I'm going to get another queen. Check. You may not capture. Here's time. Oh, he's out of time. So let's, let's look at what happens, because I did sacrifice a rook for a pawn. Um, I think I would actually not play here, because my rook is too far away to do anything. Uh, one interestingly strong move is this because then I can push and it's protected. Um, take, take, check, which is not really check, push, and he's going to lose another piece for that. So that's really powerful. Another option, if I'm feeling hurried, is to promote. He trades, and then I'm going to win this way too. So I am winning. That's good. And let's go back to flying queen. When can I have some long yes? Are you ready, flying queen? Let's do this. And I also have a challenge from Chess Instinct. Cool, Chess Instinct. I can't wait to play you. I remember recently smelling your instinct. Um, and, I, and I, I'm glad you're back. So knights are really strong. I wonder if knights are better than rooks, actually, because they can move. A knight in the center can move. Can move any... You know how I do this? You know how I make these arrows orange? Of these places. 
Well, that is actually eight locations. Interesting quantity. Do you know what's interesting about that? F4. What's interesting is a bishop is the same way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Arms reach prevents it from going any further. A knight, oh, we went over that. A rook is the same way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And a queen is super bossy, right? 16. So a queen is still the best. However, the others are actually kind of similar. So it makes for an interesting thing where, you know, losing the exchange, a knight for a rook or in this case, a rook for a knight, is not that much of a big of a deal. However, the knights seem way more powerful than the bishops. I'm not sure why that is, because they all move two squares, you know, times four squares. That's a total of eight squares. They all do that, but the knights just jump better. Oh, I love you too, kisser. Kisser pass. Is that really your name? Keskis pass. That's a lot of S's. S, S, and there's a heart for you. Because that's a lot of S's. That's like the greatest quantity of S's that I have envisioned today. Do you know the difference between visioning something and envisioning it? You can't envision anything. Envision isn't a verb. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Well, then why can't you envision things? What's the difference between snaring something and ensnaring it. I have become ensnared. I always say ensnare because that old StarCraft game, there was this queen that flew. The new StarCraft game, the queen is like one inch per kilometer. It mixes up its units of measurement because it's so slow. Whereas the queen in StarCraft 1, it flies, it's nice and fast, and it has this thing. It's called ensnare. So because of that, I always call it ensnare. My rook is coming. No, it's not. I want to checkmate you, but the closer I get to that bishop, the more that bishop becomes useful. So yeah, my rook is coming. If I if I'm actually like I'm coming and I'm checkmating, then the bishop's like I traded for something that's not me, which means something better by the way, because this is the worst kind of piece there is. I bet bishop for pawn would be an upgrade. Who? D five, e five. This is a no brainer, right? I don't want to do anything but nothing. Hey, oh no, it's a no brainer to get pawn forked. Eh. This is the no-brainer. If he takes, he's left with ugly pawns. So, Hey, what about that move? Why don't I just take that for free? What a mystery. What a mystery that is that I didn't take that pawn for free. Life is full of such mysteries. Would you like to know another mystery? I'll take that as a yes. Where did your toenails come from? Like, did you grow them? Did you sit there one day and be like, wait a minute, I actually need toenails, hold on. And you grew them? No, they're a mystery. Nobody knows where toenails came from. And yet they're epically useful because they hurt so bad when you drop heavy things on them. And when else will you hurt that bad? You basically won't. And that is the purpose of toenails. Yes, but it's very mysterious. I have no idea where my toenails came from. Now, if you grew your own toenails, I have to say you're a liar. However, still kind of impressive. I find that to be one of the great mysteries of life. Glad I was able to share that with you. Did you know, previous to this episode, which is like an hour ago, I had no intention of telling you of that mystery. I had no plans to reveal the mystery of toenails. And yet, in the course of Arms Reach Chess, a totally natural outcome, uh, that became an, a typical conversation point for Chess Whiz. There's really no reason not to talk about toenails on Chess Whiz TV pretty much normal fair that's bad because my rook is lame and can't recapture oh good he didn't notice i'm having a really hard time checkmating anybody <laughs> he's on his way be there soon our rooks are staring each other down hey you're a cheater Oh, cheats. Let's try again without cheating. It's really important to develop your pieces in this variant, I'm seeing. Because let's say my rook is sitting right here. Well, because it is, for example. And it's very important to develop it. You might say it's already developed, but no, it can reach this far. Not very far. So it's important to get it out there, like there, where it's attacking more things. It's true. Don't say it's not. 
because it's true. No, I did not miss a free bishop chess disciple. Didn't you read over here the rules? No piece may move further than two spaces. You didn't read that, did you? I knew you didn't read it. Um, is that pawn dangerous? Oh no, you're cheating again. Add me time. Oh no, he can take my pawn. And that will unseat my entire army. My knight must flee. Fortunately, there's no way his queen will reach it. But unfortunately, his rook can reach it. <laughs> He's on the way. I'm coming for you. Yeah, not even scared. The Anketo bishops are just not the same when they can't see in front of their own noses, are they? And this is weird. I'm going to promote my things. I'm just going to promote my things. I got two pawns here. He has one pawn. I'm pressing on my forehead. Those are some serious reasons to just promote my things. I'll take that. Rook takes. Play here, guarding the square. There's no way his queen can come near me. This is like the opposition from an in-game technical perspective where my queen can only reach this much. So, hmm. And his queen can reach here. We both can reach here. That's not check, you hacker. I am full of injustices today. I guess I'll move out of check. <laughs> so these two pawns, they're definitely going to become better. I can't believe you're checking me. Well, I appreciate you taking back. I mean, that's nice of you because technically you don't have to. I'm on the way to promoting these. See, this rook does not feel developed to me. Since it can only reach this square, it's like it needs to move out a little further, you know? I hope I take this rook for free very soon. Oh. I gotta get this rook going. It's simply not enough to be on an open file. Now you need to be in enemy territory. Otherwise you're useless. So this is a really good spot for my knight. I didn't mean to draw that arrow. That spot right there, it's gonna be super strong. And let's get it going right now. So my rook can't reach these spots. That's just too bad. Oh, you checked me. Amazing. I'll go this way. I think that this is awesome and good. I wonder if trading a queen for a rook and bishop is a good idea. I bet it is. No, I bet taking this for free and then this. I bet that's a good idea, especially because it's cheater's check. Let's play it. Ha, oh, you're in check because I'm a cheater. And now check. Whoa. Okay, so now I can win. Yeah, wow. GG, rematch offer sent. I want to play you again. Play you again. I hate cheating checks. Checks, sorry. Checks. That's I'm speaking not of chess here, but of the checks when a bishop just wanders into a long diagonal because there's no such thing as a long diagonal in arms reach chess. That was really interesting. But unfortunately, the rules enforced. I need to get used to this. Good game. Colon P. So for those of you just tuning in, there's special rules to this kind of chess. It says no piece may move further than two spaces in one move. So it's like arms reach chess. The name of the episode, and I did invent this myself in my own sorry little brain, came up with this idea. So if you don't like it, you know who to blame. Queen cannot recapture because it can only reach this far. I'm actually finding this to be a little interesting. It's not that bad to have your king exposed on an open file because it takes some enemy guy three moves to actually get down the file. I need to defend that. And who would use a pawn when they could use a bishop? This is not hanging. His queen doesn't have the legs for it. So this is working out just fine. Now I'm protecting there, and now bishop here, and I trade my bishop for some lame knight. This is going to work. I'm working it. Get out. Trade, trade, trade for my bishop. Yes! It's weird. I feel like, since bishops are limited and knights are not limited, that uh, knights must be better. But technically speaking, they have a similar range. 
from the center of the board, we discussed this, you know, bishops can touch eight squares and so can knights. Maybe it's because bishops are blocked. You know what I mean? This bishop was not attacking eight squares because it was blocked in these directions. That's probably what it was. Hey, an arrow with two heads. That's cool. Coolio. Yeah, that's probably what it is. Does your shirt smell good? You wear it twice a week. Colin left Perrin. Actually, I wear my shirt every day because I am Chesswitz TV. Hmm. Castle. So this is uh this is good for me. It's gotta be good for me. I'm gonna save the bishop. No, don't save the bishop. Give him the bishop. Would you like this bishop? I would love to have two knights against two bishops. Yes! Now I will own him with my own device. It's nobody else's, it's mine. Okay, flying queen. This flying queen, guys, he's an old timer. You might be like, wow, I've never heard of this guy. Is he a queen or a guy? But no, he's been around since episode... How long have you been around? What was the first episode you watched? Exclamation mark. What did you just take? My knight, you're cheating. <laughs> My knight is nowhere near that bishop. Now that's a cheating move because of the rules. No piece may move further than two squares, which is that far. My knights are awesome. I'm going to go checkmate him with just a queen and a knight. We'll see how that goes. Seems like it could work. It seems like it couldn't work, but why not? Um, the knight, this knight can sneak over here and he'll never capture it because his bishop is so short-sighted. It can only reach this far, so the knight will just sneak around. I like the red arrows. They're very beautiful. If you want red arrows, you can... Uh, you can buy them at the Red Arrow store. Let's go here. Threatening this. Not that I would ever take it. Threatening this, which threatens this. That's more like it. He doesn't remember actually. I don't remember actually either. He needs a comma there. Unless he's speaking of someone named actually, in which case he needs a capital A. It was a long time ago. Okay, I lost my pawn, but I don't care because I'm going to checkmate you. I'm double attacking. How will you defend both? How will you defend both? This isn't even possible in chess, let alone arms reach chess. You have trouble. You have big trouble. I am chess whiz. This is pretty interesting from Neo Triss. I agree, Neotris. And I also like your name because Neo means new and Tris means Tetris. So Neotris means new Tetris, which sounds good. Uh, take the, with the knight. That would be interesting. I'll take it with the queen. I have to defend it this way. I was considering this pawn and then I realized nothing is guarding that pawn because the rook is so lame I can only move that far. So that's not the right move for me. Hmm. Check. And <laughs> there's no way he'll take my queen because he has to come close first and when he comes close I can eat him. So interesting. You take that threatening checkmate so I'm forced to play here. The bishop forced to play here. No, you're cheating. No, I, I'm legal. I'm totally legal. I'm definitely over 18. So the bishop can't come close because the knight is guarding those squares. However, stupid chess engine says it's checkmate, so I guess it is. No, I can move over. Colon left paren. I can move over and then it's a perpetual check. That's all it is. And it's hard for him to defend this pawn. It's really hard. Think about it. Real arms reach chess. I move over, he checks, I move over, he checks. Oh, it's the same position. Draw. That's all he can get. If he checks this way, it's not check uh, because it's the queen can't reach that far. So he can't waddle back to defend this. He cannot defend this. His king can't come here or here. His rook can't come here. It's too far. He can't defend this pawn. When I take this pawn, I'm going to be um, Tied in G pawns will have an equal quantity of G pawns. Is Queen G7 mate? No, it isn't guarded. You hacker. So I want to play Chess Instinct. He's been waiting super patiently. So I also want to play you, Flying Queen. But there's only one of me, and there's it's clearly three of you. So let's paste the rules in here, and I'll click GL, and still there. 
sorry for the long wait. See how I spelled that? Because I'm insulting his weight. I'm saying he's an overweight dude. Let's see if that works. <laughs> oh yeah, internet is great. You can just say whatever you want on the internet. No one will ever know that you're actually a uh, Nobody knows you're a dog, a cat, a horse, a dog imger, or a horse lime. Definitely a dog imger. Let's see. On the internet, nobody knows you're a chess whiz. This could work. That's why the internet is good. Do not attack my pawn. And <laughs> that's a pawn. Do not attack it. Because your bishop is lame. And I'm on my way. <laughs> to do the same thing. Man, I am on the way. Now, technically speaking, you can move this knight because the bishop can't reach the king. Its arms reach chess. So I think we should actually petition Thibault, and I can never pronounce his last name, to add this variant because there's not enough variants on each other. There's only like a zillion. Let's take a look. How many are there? A zillion. I want to see the game list. I should be able to castle too because this bishop only reaches here, so it's not castling through check. Your obnoxious bishop. It's actually a strong bishop right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Moving up one square is pretty useful. It defends a lot of things. I can't see the game list, but let me tell you, there's not a lot of people playing variants right now because there never are. I enjoy chess variants. So I think we need arms reach chess on the chess. So. No, because the queue isn't guarded. Guarded. <laughs> I think we need this chess variant. It's kind of fun. I don't know what to do. I can't castle because of cheating. Let's go here. I'm chasing your bishop. He can't take it because queens can only move this far. See the rules? Those are the rules. So this will get the bishop off the diagonal and then I can castle. Oh. Uh, I'll take that. How bad could it be going queenside, right? I mean, it's not like his rook can show up in a move. It's going to take him three moves. So I'm not scared of anything. Like that rook, for example. Not scared. In fact, my king doesn't really need any defense. In a position like this in chess, you would say, two rooks, two bishops, there's still some danger of checkmate. This isn't an end game because there's still some danger of checkmate. However, Arms reach chess. This is like two bishops, two lame old guys that can't move. That's an end game. These rooks are so underpowered when they can only move two squares that they're not really rooks at all. They're more like or they're not the entire thing. So that makes this an end game. You know, end game is measured by how much power is still on the board. And when there's rooks, when there's there's not very much power. So this is an end game. That means I should use my king. Actually, kings are very powerful. A king can move to eight squares from the middle of the board. Very similarly to a knight. This is kind of beautiful, actually. I'm glad I'm doing this. Also similarly to a rook. Hold on, I'm not done. I want a small, short. Why doesn't this work always? Also similarly to a bishop. Now, which color makes the bishop? I'm out of time. I can't find the other color. Green. Oh, that's so pretty. Now I need to move. Oof! I almost ran out of time making that kaleidoscope. That was fun. So the king is as powerful as a minor piece. Knight, bishop, rook, they're all minor, right? So that means you should use the king, especially at times when the opponent is cheating. Can't believe he would check me like that. He's adding me time to compensate me for that illegal check. Dragaus says, will you play me a game later? Later? I'll play you now. Grammar's optional. Challenge me. Challenge me. <laughs> That's the other nice thing about the internet. There's no need for spelling. There's no need for correcting errors. None of it. 
seven pawns against seven. So my advantage lies in the fact that I lie a lot. The knight versus bishop. Knight versus bishop, that's an advantage right there. I mean, whoa, look what happens when this knight shows up right here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did I just make the sound of the priest from Age of Empires? Or is it the monk? It's the monk. Woolaloo, I'm healing your chess pieces with my heel. You ever wonder about English? It's got all these puns like heel and heel. Other languages have that too. Let's use this rock. I'm going to have to put it here before it does anything uh, because back there it can't reach this square, so I'll move it up. Now I'm totally guarding that. Good job, Rook. And now this pawn can't be defended. Definitely an interesting... Oh, man, this is not fair. I should be able to take your Rook. That's cheap. Uh, it's not really, though. Ish. Cheatish. Um, because I guess I guess we're playing a variant of a variant where checks are not arm's reach, checks are full length, because that's the way it's being enforced here on this website. Nah, it's okay, I guess. It's okay, I guess. But it makes me frown. Here's some time. Does that say frown? Sworn? It makes me sworn. Frown. I'm trying to type frown. Frown. There we go. <clears throat> He's on his way. Now I take this. See, that was a devastating breakthrough to my king. Something that wouldn't have been possible in true arm's reach. I'm annoyed. Hey, look. That's a pretty good fork there now. It looks kind of like a clock. Knights. They are nice. Now I'm ahead of pawn. One, two, three. Okay, now that I've circled all the pawns, let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm ahead of pawn. That means I'm going to promote that thing into a bishop because those are so powerful. Chess instinct, here's my last ad time for you. Uh, I'll move here. There's some danger that he'll put his other rook here, but I guess he can't because I forgot. Arms reach chess. That's my only move to save the bishop. Yeah, rooks are lame old pieces. They cannot do much. I mean, it's not like he can come down here and destroy me or anything close. Actually, he can do something kind of close. But it takes him so many moves. Rook for bishop. can't do that. Haha, -ha. you can only go there, which I don't recommend. Not good. Dang, he says. Strong language. Language. That's language right there. It looks a little bit like luggage, but it's language. Um, GG. Enjoy. And now I need to play Dragaus because I said I would play him right now. Um, I'll play you now. See that? That's English. I typed it. So Dragaus, that, you're not Dragaus, so where are you? Where's Dragaus? You need to challenge me faster, Dragaus! Yes, that's correct. Knights, pawns, and kings can move. <laughs> Not technically anywhere. I mean, this isn't flying king chess, which is another awesome variant. I'll just describe this to you while Dragaus sends me a challenge. Hurry up, Dragaus! Flying king chess is something also not possible. Oh, there he is. Um, I think, are you Dragaus? Um, are you Dragaus? Flying king chess is where the king can literally move anywhere. From any square, it can move to any square. One special rule, not so special, you can't move into check. And you can't capture the opponent's king if it's guarded, because that would be moving into check, right? So on your first move, you're like, my king takes your queen. No, wait. Then he could take your king because it wouldn't be guarded with his king. So my king takes your rook over on a8. That's not legal either, or at least a blunder, because his king will fly onto your king and capture it. So the two kings, even though they're the most powerful pieces ever conceivable by the mind of man, the mind of man, they cannot do much because they counter each other. And once you lose your king, you lose the game. So it's actually like a game of chess until you realize that you don't need to do anything because your king can just, if it's in danger, fly to the other side of the board. You just have to keep it guarded. It's definitely an interesting variant. Let's play against Dragaus. We're playing 
arms reach chest here, and the rules are as I've pasted. Unfortunately, you cannot play Flying King Chess on, uh, on this website. Well, um, I'll try this. <clears throat> uh, so, for example, in Flying King, I could move my king here. That'd be totally fine. But then once he captured this, it would be check because my king would be in danger from his king capturing it by flying because it's not guarded. So then I might fly my king over here. Then I'd be just fine guarded by two things. So you can't capture something unguarded with your king. But anything that's protected, your king can just go out in its stead and do the capture. Very interesting variant. I find it enjoyable. It's too bad it's not on this website. I think we might not get a lot more variants here, actually, because there's so many. You variant lovers, you need to become more variant in your loving. <laughs> that's not something I plan to say. Hmm. Oh, I was blabbing about a different variant. Kings cannot fly. You know, I put two eyes there because I have two eyes. It's totally logical. Better protect that pawn. I really want to come out here and take the knight because I think knights are great. King of the Hill is a pretty good variant. Did you know? Did you know I brought cough? I knew it has spike chess. Skype chess. Skype. That's not that's Skype. Spike. This is some chess with trivia here. If you go back to the very first King of the Hill episode, it's me wondering what it should be named. Because I'm like... And I think we played it the way we play, are playing this right now, where you um, just had to resign if the opponent reached the middle of the board because it wasn't. It wasn't in the website, and so then I talked with the creator of this website because I'm good friends with him. I wish. Actually, we're just acquaintances, but I wish I were good friends with him. He lives in France, so it's hard to be. And then he added it, and it was, it was grand. But now life would be even better with Arms Reach Chess, which is totally my invention. Uh, King of the Hill Chess. King of the Hill Chess. Now, let me talk about that. It was not my invention. It was taught to me by an old chess coach, and I mean literally old. Well, he's old now. I hope he's not watching this, because I don't mean to say that he's dead old. He's just older than, yeah. Anyway, and he, and he called it spike chess, and I could not find it on the internet many, many years later. It turns out, I don't know where he learned it, but it's very interesting. It takes away all the end game skill, which is nice. Your bishop is not scaring me. So this is powerful, take the knight, then fork him. This is not powerful because the bishop can only move this far. And if it comes closer, I can omnom it with my corner knight, which you don't often have in chess. You don't want a corner knight. Yes, fill belt. Yes, fill belt, that's what I'm talking about. So this is going to be a pretty nice tactic right here. Bam! I think the bishop. I think I should take the bishop. It's a whole piece. Whereas the other was just a rook. This is weird getting used to it. Yeah. I, I totally agree with that statement. You are getting used to it. F4 is problematic because it's not protected by the rook. <laughs> Gotta remember that. Rooks don't move that far. But yeah, this is definitely an ownership position for me. A bit of a domination having picked up a free bishop. Anything I do is a winning move. I suppose queen here would not be winning. But anything reasonable is winning. <laughs> Working on it. My rook will be there soon. Okay. Opening up this file so that I can use it. Take with rook and then I'll start attacking that pawn heavily. Oh, okay. I attacked it. Um, is, there a, is there any reason I can't just bring my other rook over there? No, let's fork him again. Everything's well defended in a kind of a Y shape, which is what I'm asking. Why haven't you resigned? Oh, you have. Never mind. GG. Well, any more interesting challenges for new people? Keski Pass loves me, and here he is. I gotta play him. Yeah, not really. That's true. True. 
Thanks. I want to go play Kesky Pass. Where is he? Kesky Pass. Ah, oh, I got to send him so many hearts. How many hearts should I send him? Heart of them. Get it? Because hearts are made of less than three, so I have to send him less than three of them. Kesky Pass, I'm trying to join. What's wrong with my internet? Is my internet down? Huh, 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 huh. What's going on? My internet seems fine. No, lichess.org, Tim out. Timmy out. Sorry. The site is not responding in a timely fashion. Try to load the page soon to see if it's getting better. Like right now. Yeah, right now. This is soon. What should we do with ourselves? Should we just end the show? I should remind you guys, although it is currently about 4 p.m. GMT, next week, starting immediately, is the new time zone uh, because Daylight Savings is hitting me in the place that Davey, Daylight Davy blah, it's hitting. So I'm not going to say that a third time. I've been saying it last episode. So next episode, Tuesday, um, at 4 p.m. GMT instead of the typical 3 p.m. GMT. It's moving by an hour because, and it's, by the way, going to become a lot lighter in this room behind me. As you can see, it already is. At the beginning of the episode, it's quite dark because I'm sitting in front of a window. Unfortunately, lichess.org has Tim outed, and it won't come back. I'm more refreshing, and it's more flickering, and that is not coming back. It's so sad. So I'm going to say colon left paren nose asterisk out of connection please retry soon le pez that's please in french um sorry it's too bad it's too bad but that's life sometimes things happen that you don't want to happen thanks for watching oh, i ended up my i messed up my i can't speak I was trying to make that true. Like, I can't speak C, but it's not true. <laughs> Think about how long I'd have to sit there before you were really convinced that it was true. Yeah, it would take days. This has been Chess with TV. Thanks for watching.